we have to discuss the factorial because before we go moving on to uh, more counting techniques because in those techniques you have to know what factorial is so the factorial here is the factorial sign in math we don't call that the exclamation mark so how's the factorial work so let's say you have a five factorial that is equals to five times four times three times two times one you do not multiply zero the decrement is by one you stop at one because once you multiply by zero the whole thing is equals to zero let's say you have a uh, six factorial so that is six times five times four times three times two and then times one you don't multiply zero so in the first screenshot i gave you uh the general form of n factorial so n factorial the n is a positive integer it must be positive and it must be an integer n factorial is equals to n and then the next number you start the decrement of one so n times n minus one times n minus two n minus three all the way to 3 times 2 times 1 again no zero because once you multiply zero the entire expression is equals to zero but we do have a special case zero factorial is equal to 1 so that is a special case now the thing is um for 5 6 factorial so we can we can uh, type that out so 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 look at my calculator that equals to 120 so even though you go to a 7 factorial you can do 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 right we can type it out oops not, not the plus we can type it out to get what it is but what if we have a 13 factorial 20 factorial 26 factorial uh, 54 factorial do you want to type out all 54 numbers the answer is no because we have technology so that's why we use a graphing calculator in a stats class so how, where do we look for the factorial in the graphing calculator so first you've got to type a number so which number do you want let's say you want to type a seven all right and then you want to do factorial so you go to look at the second screenshot right here you go to math you hit the math key and then you go to prb prob or prb probability and then option number four is factorial do you see the second screenshot option number four is factorial so you go to factorial so now you see the factorial is right next to the seven and then you hit enter then you get the final answer without typing out a list of numbers so let's say you want to do a uh, 10 factorial so you type 10 and then you go to math prb option number four there you go so that is equals to that so uh in this exercise uh i have four factorial that i would like you to do so let's take a look at the first one six math prb and then number four there you go 720 10 we did it Let, let's do it 11 11 math probability prb and then number four that's the factorial and then 13 math prb exclamation mark or factorial don't don't say the word exclamation mark factorial so that is pretty big right so when you reach to a 20 math and then prb factorial so that equals to something looks like this some of you might have never seen this before so e and 18 what is this this is a scientific notation so scientific notation here is what the answer equals to 2.43 i would like to keep two decimal places times 10 to the 18 power the e is base 10 the 18 is exponent so what is this what is this equals to that means is this is a scientific notation positive 18 power means this is a very very large quantity how large let's use a smaller exponent how about 2.43 times 10 to the fifth power so that means you have 2.43 times 1 followed by 5 zeros, right? So that means you have to move the decimal point 5 steps to the right. So that will be 2.43, right? So that will be 1. Here is the way I do it. I prepare some zero. So starting at 2.43, I go like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We make a stop right there. So that is equals to 243 followed by 30. So if you have an 18, 
18 power, so you have to move the decimal point 18 steps to the right. That gives you a huge value. The purpose of using scientific notation is we want to write a very long number in a very compact form. All right, so that will be all in this lesson. If you think my instruction is helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate your help really much. I see you all in the next lesson. The next lesson is uh, permutation. I see you all in there, signing out.